Okay, Joes. Today, we've got a special briefing by a secret intelligence agent known as DJ. He's gonna brief us on the new G.I. Joe classified line. We are back and now we have moved on to Roadblock. Oh man, and this is an amazing figure as well. But anybody that knows me knows I have a nasty habit of if there's a defect out there, I usually end up with it. Uh, and this one is definitely got a couple of problems. Um, and I don't think that's going to be across the board with all the figures. I think it's just me, my luck, because that's just my luck. <laughs> but anyway, let's take a closer look here at our figure. We can get him to focus. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hello, lights dim. That's, uh... That's uh, there we go. So here we have our man that likes to rhyme, though not always all the time. <laughs> Master of the BFG and the grill, if you remember your classic Joes. Yeah. So this guy's getting a little bit of flack, mostly for this gun, because they want the big chain gun and not some weird sci-fi gun. Me personally, I've already made my stance on the sci-fi guns. I think they're okay. I dig them. I kind of dig how it's going to this translucent blue plastic right here. Uh, it does also have a clip. Because of course it does. It's just a little, little clip. Likes to fall out sometimes. Um, so, uh, 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 let's pull this out of here so we can get a closer look at them. Uh, yeah. Now, Roadblock here is a big dude, as he should be, because he's a big dude. Ah, there we go. So, as I said, this guy's got a few defects, and one of them I didn't even notice at first until just today. Uh, and it's actually his mustache. If you look, you can sort of see it fades as it goes over to this side. And the paint on it and on his beard don't quite line up. I got, I got a bad paint on that one, but... Even with that, I mean, look at that face. I mean, that is a real dude's face. I, I'm, I mean, really. They, they got that just gorgeous. Uh, moving on down, you see he got all that nice muscle texture. And he got a tattoo right here. Let's see if I can zoom in on... Whoa, 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 whoa. Camera going all nuts on me. He's got a, a lion on there. That's... Uh, cool looks really nice looks really nice of course you know you got your bicep swivel right there so kind of slides his jaw this way slides his jaw that way but still still very nice very very nice come on zoom zoom back out there we go there we go <laughs> uh and much like uh duke we have a little bit more of a modern uptake on his uh classic look so you know he's got the green vest and then the just the pants and then the gold armor that some people don't like. And again, we got all this nice texture detail on the pants, all the pockets. We got some nice gloves going on here, which under my camera kind of look like the same color as this skin. But I, I promise you, the, these this is like a different color. It's more of a, a grayish, tannish color with red on it and not like the same as the skin tone. <laughs> Uh, and then going up here, now the vest is a little weird because it kind of looks a little lopsided and that's mostly because, you know, this is supposed to be big belts going on here, but right here it kind of doesn't make it look that way. Uh, you've got his uh, little star there and again, it's an updated thing so it's more of like a sci-fi-ish flat jacket as opposed to his classic vest. He's got that uh, thing that we think is a communicator. He's also got a knife right there in his knife holster i love that they're doing that you know you go back to some of the vintage figures they'd have knives and stuff sculpted onto them they'd usually be curled because they match the body <laughs> ah man now this vest is a separate piece but it is non-removable and you can sort of see he's he, he's uh he's rocking some abs under there uh, it is my understanding that this uses the same uh body that we will see on gung-ho in the near future 
So, just going quickly over his articulation, it's nothing new here, it's the same as all the rest. He's got a ball joint on a peg on the top of the neck, and then he's got that rocker joint underneath there. He does have an ab crunch, but, you know, because of this vest, it's a little, you know, restricted, but, you know, the vest is flexible enough, you can get, you, you can get him crunching over just a little bit, but, you know, you've also got the ball joint right there, which helps with that. He's got those same simulating the uh when you want to call those rubber band joints right there at the at the uh, hips he's got thigh swivels the same double jointed knees nice tight same maybe a little too tight in some points on the feet rockers on the feet he's also got a boot cut right there ah, same on both sides uh this knee pad here is part of the actual knee joint itself so it moves out of the way you can see right there which is really nice i dig that uh, he's got the same up and down forward and back butterfly joints here at the shoulders although these butterfly joints again because of the vest and the size of the sculpting here is a little bit limited you've got the bicep swivel double jointed elbows and then you've got the hinged and swivel at the wrists and again i really just love the detail on this <laughs> And just a quick closer look at the gun again uh, it's done in silver and it's got some nice little almost day glow uh, if you want to call it energon blue <laughs> uh, any of my transformer fans out there might know what I'm talking about but it is cast out of a uh, transparent plastic apparently transparent blue and they get a fade on the silver up here so it looks like you know it's firing I guess be nice if it had a blast effect to go with that um, but on its own it's not bad it's not bad uh, you got a handle here which is a softer plastic so it does sort of bend a little bit when he's holding it but it's not too bad this one's a little bit more solid he's also got a handle down here and he can get a grip on that though it's really difficult uh, again some red highlights here blue highlights a little bit closer look at that clip you see he's got some blue highlights on there and some nice little sculpted detail but you know it's a obviously it's a laser clip so you don't have anything like bullets or anything like that it, but yeah you know again a lot of people don't like this i dig it i think it's pretty cool but hey you know there's a lot of companies out there that are making uh military style weapons in the one six scale and in fact there's a company that's actually got the rights to action force and they're doing that as well as making new action force in this same scale including our boy sergeant slaughter so uh, i have seen them already make chain guns and big gatling guns so they're not that expensive if if you don't like this and if that's the only thing keeping you from buying this which is an amazing figure there's options out there just saying you don't have to but there's options out there now I do want to take a quick look at the artwork on the packaging because it is absolutely stunning artwork. We look, medic. I did it again. Anyway, uh, so there we have Roadblock right there, and that is some really, really good painted artwork. I mean, that's just gorgeous. And then down here, we got Roadblock doing what Roadblock do. <laughs> Beating down on some snakes. And then up here, uh, yeah, I love what they did here with the gun. They got it upright and it's just glowing right there. And he's looking like he's ready to beat down some snakes. <laughs> Again, we've got the same piece of artwork on the back. Nothing new right there. You got his loadouts for what he's capable of. You gotta go online to figure out what those mean uh, same package that we've seen before anyway again just like the rest of these joes i highly recommend it but he is very hard to find the thing about these joes that's starting to annoy me is that you can't find them anywhere um they're getting very difficult to find uh there's a big sort of fiasco going on with the target exclusives not happy about that either but if you can find it get it he is amazing and a very good addition to your wave one gi joe team have a good one
Now that we've been briefed on the G.I. Joe classified line, I hope we can recruit those into our own forces. So, until next time, you're Joe!